I'm Ashley Eskeva, and it's time for another installment of Just Show Me, where we take your tech toys and gadgets and show you how to get the most out of them. Today, I'm going to show you how to set up and use spaces on your MacBook. So what spaces is, is when you're using your MacBook, you can actually pull up four different windows and organize apps into different windows by default. So let's say you have your business apps in your upper right space, and you have your fun apps in your lower left space. So I've got my MacBook Pro here, and what you're going to do, you're going to head over to the Apple, and you're going to click on System Preferences, and when System Preferences shows up, you are going to go to Exposé and Spaces. So when you click on that, you're going to see Exposé will be the very first thing that's up. We're not dealing with that right now. What you want to do is you want to click on the tab that says Spaces. So once you get into spaces, you want to make sure that the enable spaces checkbox is checked off. And once you do that, you are able to set up all of the different programs that can go into different spaces. So what we're going to do is we're going to add an app and put it into a space. You can see right now I've got Google Chrome in space one, which is the upper left corner iTunes is in space three, which is lower left, and Thunderbird, which is my email client, is in space two. You can add rows and columns if you want, but we'll stick with the default four spaces for today. When you turn into a spaces expert, you can add more. So what we're gonna do is we're going to hit the plus sign, and any program that you currently have open will show up as available to move into a space. I use Text Strangler to write my articles for Tekka.com, so let's say I wanna put that in space four. So I'm going to click on Text Wrangler, and you'll see it automatically will show up in your list. Now, what you want to do with that is, is you can click on the word Space 1, and it'll give you a drop-down list, and I would like to put it in Space 4. So click on that, and you'll see Space 4 highlight, so you can see it's actually there. And underneath, you can see to activate spaces, you press F8. So when you actually press F8, you can see all four of your spaces, and there is Text Wrangler in the bottom right. Now, if you want to navigate your spaces without actually pulling all four of them up, all you have to do is hold control and use the arrow keys, and you'll actually see a little pop-up of your spaces, and you can use the arrow keys to go up, down, right, left. Well, that's how to use spaces on your MacBook, and if you have any other questions about any other things that are going on with your gadgets, be sure to check out all of our Just Show Me content on Tekka.com. I'm Ashley Eskeva, and we'll see you next time.